Now we're checking in on the breaking overnight news at a full river where several people were forced from their homes after this early morning fire. It broke out just before two in the morning. It was on Meadow Street. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish live at the scene right now with more on what we know so far. Hey, good morning, guys. That's right. We're here on Meadow Street in Fall River, where residents in six apartment buildings are now without a place to live after fire swept through their homes overnight. Now, I spoke with the uh, district fire chief here at the scene uh, just after we arrived. He tells me that this all started around two in the morning. The backs of two buildings badly damaged and the outside of a nearby building suffered some minor damage as well. The deputy chief tells me a garage is destroyed along with a boat and a motorcycle. Then he tells me that everyone got out OK and there were no injuries reported from the time crews arrived on scene. I'm told it took about an hour to get this fire under control. You're basically fighting, uh, you know, three fires or four fires at the same time. You know, two main fires or the two three deckers. You know, all floors were on fire. You had that garage on fire, wasn't helping. We had that boat on fire that was uh, fiberglass, and that was making it more difficult. Then the other shed caught on fire, which caught out of catching this house on fire. So it was a pretty busy night. And things have quieted down here just a little bit, uh, although firefighters are still here at the scene. Again, six apartment buildings and all of the residents in there um, without a place to live. Now, the district fire chief tells me that uh, these buildings are not a total loss, although uh, these residents won't be staying here anytime soon. The Red Cross has been called to help those affected and investigators are here at the scene working to determine exactly what caused this fire. They'll be here for uh, much of the morning and so will we bringing you more information as it's made available on air and on WPRI.com. That's the latest here in Fall River. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.